Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a little bit of a different sort of video. We're doing a bit of a tutorial video on how to install Rage Plugin Hook, LCPDF file response, just basic things. And then in the future we will be doing more videos for you to push your modern skills. So that will be getting all the extra vehicles, all the extra skins and scripts and plugins. However, when you install the basics of Rage Plugin Hook and LCPDFR, it's it should be a lot easier for you and it is quite straightforward so most of it is sort of drag and drop depending on what plugins that you get obviously because some um, you may need to do different things and you may need different things for it but most of the time all the files contain a readme file and that readme file is what you need and then you read it and it tells you how to install it and where they want you to put their mods okay so this can be used on any software so if you use an epic game steam or rockstar i'm using rockstar however i'm going to talk you through it all and i'm going to show you the directories you need for each of them said above so guys first of all you need to install rage plugin plugin hook i already downloaded it previous to starting recording due to my wi-fi being quite bad so what you do you click download and then grand theft auto and then you click rage plugin hook the latest version will always be the highest so you want to keep this one here and then you click download 9.89 megabytes when that's downloaded you see it pop up here if you haven't already make sure you get WinRAR because obviously you'll need WinRAR to be able to do it um, other than that there's not really anything else on this website you'll need yet so what you want to do now is you want to we'll keep it open for now and then you want to install LCPDFR as well, LSPDFR. We'll full screen it to make it a bit easier for you. So you scroll down here, sometimes it does pop up here, however it's not. So you're going to go to downloads here, give it 12 hours to load, and then you want to go to LSPDFR, and then you can see this all here. Okay, you want to download this file, and then you want to scroll right down to bottom. If you want to read it, you may read it. Clear that ad, agree download. I always choose a manual install, just easier, you know, and I'm pretty sure the setup doesn't work at the moment. So you click download and then it give it four seconds and it'll download. So now it comes to all the easier stuff. So all you need to do is locate your GTA. So if you've got it on your like desktop, it makes it a lot easier for you. However, we'll treat it as you don't. So if you're looking for your Steam one, it will be in program files 86 and then you look for steam and then you look for steam apps and then common and then your game should be in there if you have it in steam right now we're going to be looking for you if you had it on epic games so you're going to go to your drive and then you'll go to program files then you're going to go to epic games then it should be in here but obviously I don't have GTA in here so for me it is in for if you're using Rockstar you'll be going into your program files like Epic Games and you'll be looking for Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto 5 and then boom it's all here all here for you right so the easy thing is about Rage Plugin Hook and LCPDFR LSPDFR whatever you want to call it, it is very easy all you got to do, so this one here, we'll minimise that one just to avoid any confusion. This one here, so what you can do, you can click SDK and then you press shift on your keyboard and hold it to cursor 3 to right to the bottom. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to drag and drop it into here, into any space near it. You don't want to drag it into a file, you just want to drag it into your directory here. Okay, and then when it's done, it will just give it a second to transfer all the files in and then boom you're done as I've already done it I don't really want to do it um, but literally it's just drag and drop okay and then that's done done for good and then same thing with this is all you gotta do hold shift go right down to cursor 32 and drag and drop it all back in okay however this is when it starts getting confusing with the Epic Games and stuff. Epic Games, you have to launch GTA 5, 
and then through Epic Games, and then after you then have to launch it, launch Rage Plugin Hook. So you do that by either creating a shortcut, and I'll show you how to create a shortcut. So here you right click on that, and then you create a shortcut. And then you can drag and drop it to where you want to drag and drop it. So I'll replace it just for the purpose of this video. And then you just click it. So if you're playing Epic Games, you should open GTA 5, tab out, and then click that, and then boom, you should load in. And then for Rockstar, it's just you create a shortcut and just click it and it will load. And for Steam, it is the same as Rockstar. So it's only Epic Games, what is any different? So at this point, you've installed Rage Plugin Hook and LCPDFR. So that is a main thing. And what else you'll need? You'll need something called Script Hook V. This allows any plugins to be used. So what you do, you Go into Google or any browser, script hook V, and you want to go to this website here. And then you want to go to GTA 5, and then script hook V, and then 18th of December, and then you want to download that. Download. So this is what allows you to be able to use your plugins. And then you just place that right in there. And then boom, you're able to play. If you wanted a trainer in there, you can have a trainer in there. However, I don't want it, so I'm going to remove that. I'm going to show you how to install the enhanced native trainer as well. This is a mod menu to make your life easier in game. So if you're actually playing something and you just want to be able to spawn your vehicle in, then you can do that or change your player look or anything like that you can just do that all in there so you see this and that literally easiest thing going what you what i would recommend you do you press and hold control okay after you've done that you just drag and drop it straight into your gta 5 directory so if that means epic games if that means steam or rockstar literally just a can hold control, click the ones you want. You don't really need the readme file in there. And then boom. And then it should just go in there. Okay. That means you've got all the basics now. So that means you can then load into it and play Rage Plugin Hook and LSPDFR. And there will be future videos in the in the very close future, what I'll be starting to make very shortly. And that will explain to you what you have to do to install custom models, custom pet and custom weapons. But before we do go, I will be showing you one last thing. And this is how to install callouts. So obviously callouts you gotta think about what you want. Okay, however, this is when a catch comes in, you do not want any outdated plugins, okay? Because that will just cause problems for you in the long run, okay? And it'll just cause your game to be very unstable and likely to crash. So here, always go to United Callouts. And then if we go down, it was updated in December 20th, 2020. So quite new update. Warning script modification and then agree to download. Give it a second just to download. And this is what we need. So people think you just quickly will go to our GTA 5 directories. People, and I will be leaving all the directories into the chat. So if you just want to be able to find each directory. And I'm sure I'll be able to sort that out for you guys. Okay. So we're going to go to United Callouts. We're going to open that. Grand Theft Auto 5. And then boom. You see that? Plugins and LL. LSPDFR, can't talk English today guys. So that's all the call out info, like the audio. Okay, and people think you have to go to a specific file, meaning you're gonna have to go into LSPDFR and then do it that way. However you don't. Okay, it's a lot easier than that. Just because this developer has done it to how he's done it. So it's literally a simple little job of doing a drag and drop again, dragging it straight in and then replace. You shouldn't be getting a replace, however you may do, but that's fine. And then boom, now we've got custom callouts as well. 
So this shows you how easy it was to actually install this to your actual like GTA game. Okay. What I do recommend though is before you do anything like that, you make sure you do actually add a um what's it called? You need to make sure you have a copy of GTA 5 just because if you want to play GTA online and stuff. Or if not, and that's fine. However, if you get any problems into your modding, then you might have to do a fresh install of GTA 5. So the backup does make a lot make your life a lot easier. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching my tutorial video. This is the first tutorial video and I will have a lot more coming to you very shortly. So I hope you enjoyed and peace out guys. Ichiro.